Okay. Let's talk about gambling for a while. There is a technique known to many gamblers which is called center dealing. Now, center dealing is just what the name implies. The card is not dealt from the top of the deck nor from the bottom of the deck. It's actually dealt from anywhere it might be in the center of the deck. Now, a cheat who has mastered center dealing could beat any game. Whatever card he needed, he could just deal it to himself from anywhere it might be in the deck. Yet, center dealing takes so much time of practice and dedication that most people, even magicians, think it's a myth. Something impossible, something that can't really be done. Now, I'm going to try and prove otherwise to you using the red and the black cards. First, the red cards. Now, at this point, the spectator must touch any one of these cards as I spread through the pack. It's really not important which one. Since you're the spectator, let's assume that you touch the Jack of Hearts. Now, it's not important which card you touch, but it is important for you to remember that you had a free selection from among all the red cards. Now I'm going to shuffle the red cards into blacks, but first let me memorize the resulting pattern. Okay, no problem. Now if somehow I was able even through all these shuffles and cuts to remember the position of the red cards in the deck, I could deal them to myself using center dealing. Let's say for example if I remembered that the two of hearts is now fifth from the top of the deck and I could center deal, I could just deal it to myself like this. Now if somehow I remembered the position of every red card in the deck, I could deal myself all the red cards from in between the blacks. Deal 26 red cards on a pile right here and be left with nothing but black cards in my hand. Now, if I could do that, if I could do that, it would look something like this. These are all the red cards. Well, actually all the red cards with one exception. I dealt cards from above the selected card and from below the selected card. But I kept that card for last and now I think it's 15th from the top of the deck. So there we have it. The Jack of Hearts. Now, I can sense that some of you are not very impressed right now, and I think I probably know why. You must be thinking to yourselves that, okay, I remembered, I was able to remember the position of every red card in the deck, but I didn't have to remember the position of every single card, the exact position of every single card by its unique identity. I mean I did but I didn't have to. So for this next part I'm gonna have to do just that. You can see that I have separated the cards by suit. Let me just make sure that all 13 spades are over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, okay. Which means that all 13 clubs are over here. And let me just make sure that all 13 hearts are here. 1, 2, 3, 
4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, okay? Which means that all 13 diamonds are over here. Now, let's forget about the spades and the hearts for a moment. And let's memorize the exact order of all 13 clubs. Okay, no problem. Now, I'm going to shuffle the clubs and the diamonds together. And you know that even through all these shuffles and cuts, I could do myself the clubs from in between the diamonds or the diamonds from in between the clubs. You know I could do that because you saw me do that with the reds and the blacks. So why, why don't we try something a bit different? I'm going to do all the clubs from in between the diamonds, but in ascending order. I mean ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, king. Now, why don't we try something different with the diamonds? Let me first memorize the exact order. Okay, no problem. I'm going to deal the diamonds in a descending order. I mean king, queen, jack, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, ace. Now, to sum up, I'm going to shuffle the spades into the hearts and even through all these shuffles and cuts you know I could do myself the spades from in between the hearts or the hearts from in between the spades or the spades in ascending order and the hearts in descending order or the hearts in ascending order and the spades in descending order so why don't we try something a bit more challenging this time? But first, let me memorize the exact order of all 26 cards. Okay, no problem. Now, I'm going to deal both suits at the same time. Let's say the spades in ascending order and the hearts in descending order. I mean, ace, king, two, queen, three, jack, four, ten, five, nine, six, 8, 7, 7, 8, 6, 9, 5, 10, 4, Jack, 3, Queen, 2, King, Ace.